So today we have a topic that maybe isn't the most popular to talk about, but everybody probably knows there's a recession probably coming and we wanted to talk about 10 things that you could be looking for to beef up your reselling business for this looming recession that's coming. Hey everybody, it's Margaret and Juan. Juan. How are you guys? Miss you guys? <laughs> Sorry I haven't been online for a while, but I've been kind of uh, focusing on our out out sales, uh, what, 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 what local we call sales. It? Local sales. Local sales. Yeah. yeah. Been been focused on that lately, and haven't kind of had to break away from the videos for a while. But this is kind of kind of a topic we don't want to talk about. But you know, if you're watching the news, gas prices are up. Something's bound to dip down though, and and mm -hmm. just kind of just take this information. You know, uh, take it with a grain of salt. You know, no one likes to talk about it though. But um, could happen, and Margaret and I have been talking about it. We've been following the news, and yeah. we're kind of pre preparing ourselves, though. Right. And, you know, I know Margaret's sales have kind of dipped down a little bit, eBay. Mm -hmm. Not much, you know, but it we've kind of noticed that we're not shipping out as much stuff as possible. Right. But, and she's listing stuff, but it's just not going out the door, though. So Right. This is sort of like hope for the best, but prepare for the worst type of situation. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we wanted to talk to you guys about today. Uh, and it's true, you know, so I've noticed a dip in my online sales. And I mean, we're still doing OK, but I'm having to. And, and this is something that I'm having to learn, too, is during during changing times in the economics um, you might just have to you know stretch yourself and learn something new and change kind of the way like if you're doing this as a hobby okay don't worry about it but if you're doing this and you're trying to make a full-time income or or have goals financially then it's might be time to start stretching and doing things you maybe thought you wouldn't want to do which is some of these things for me uh, because the name of the game is self-employed Right. All right. So the first category that we're going to talk about, we're going to have 10 different categories. I'm going to talk about the the online sales aspect of it, and he can talk about the local sales. Um, the first thing that we were going to talk about were pet supplies, because no matter when the whatever's going on in the um, economic world, people are going to still want to take care of their animals. So the things I'm looking for as far as local sales, and at any point during this, that if you think of something else, that hey, also this and that and the other, leave a comment down below and you guys check those comments because there's always great tips down there. But the things that I had on my list um, and that I actually have sold um, are like pet harnesses. I've sold a couple pet harnesses, animal toys if you find them new, newish condition, um, pet fountains for the water. You know, I found uh, one that cleaned up to be able to sell that can be sold locally or online. Mm -hmm. um, and then like pet bowls and and people still like those vanity bowls. You know, I've, I've got a couple Ray done. You actually sold a couple Yeti dog beds locally. Oh, yeah. So people are still going to buy things for their pets. So that's what I'm looking for online. Again, if you think of anything else, throw it down in the comments. But how about you online? I mean, locally, what do you think um, you'd be looking for? So basically, today, we found like a huge pet kennel. They're collapsible. Margaret, those completely sell. I mean, we can't... The bigger, the better. The bigger, the better, though. Mm -hmm. And we picked one up for $25. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing will fit a great dang. Yeah, a great dang. And we have no... We picked it up for $25. I, I, I promise you, we haven't listed, listed online yet because we're going on vacation. But as soon as I come back, it's it, I, I guarantee you, it, yeah. is, it is sold already, though. These these kennels... And we've sold one before that big. We've sold a giant one Oh, like yeah, that. we have, though. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like we yeah. can't... You know, as, as, as when we see them... We load them up and we, yeah. we, 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 we strike on them, though. The but bigger ones do sell for more and for faster. The smaller ones, the 24, in, you know, the like two foot by. They still sell, but they're not as quick, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, what yeah. else locally? Sorry, I jumped in. What else? Uh, baby gates. Yeah, yeah. People still going to have kids. You know, that uh, baby supplies, anything like that. Yeah. A lot of times people won't buy new. Yeah. And uh, they'll eventually, we, we always pick them up. We got an abundance of them. Yeah. Sometimes they sell, sometimes they don't sell. They sit for a little bit, yeah. They sit for a little bit. But though. people, when they got, people, when they have a, like a new puppy, they, they need those baby gates to keep the puppy from tumbling down the stairs or going where they're not supposed to go. So yeah. um, usually pick up baby gates for under $5 uh, because they, I mean, they sell for about 15 which is not a huge amount. But if we, like, we picked one up today for 2 bucks. We'll sell it for 15 Sometimes people want multiple because they want to corner off the kitchen or whatever like that. Um, and so they'll they'll come and get 
two of them for 30 bucks, which is really nice. So it's nice yeah. to have them on hand locally. So the second category that we're looking at making sure we're picking up for to recession proof our business is camping gear. So locally, and this and this being that, you know, people are going to start wanting, they're still going to want to go do things, just like in the pandemic, um, when people were quarantined, they're still going to want to go have fun with their family, but they don't have the money to go get a hotel room or do something that's going to cost a lot more money. So camping gear, like, so online, I'll be looking for more like those smaller, like propane stoves, because I don't ship really huge stuff. Oh, the water safe bags, like I have a couple of those that, you know, you can roll up. So if you're going down the river, and your bag falls in, it's not going to. So you can find things like that, like headlamps. I'm sure I'm thinking of I'm, flashlights, flashlights, like really nice ones. Right. Um, sleeping bags, really nice sleeping bags. So that kind of stuff I might sell online because it, like I said, I don't ship really big stuff. So then as far as locally, what kind of things do you think we should be looking for? B bottles of propane. Yeah. The, the small ones, though, they people usually keep want, want to keep those handy. Yeah. Even for a, another pandemic, God forbid, or even just camping itself. Yeah. Though. You know, we, we've, we've gone through, yeah. through a couple of freezes mm -hmm. where all, all of Austin just froze and yeah. gas lines were shut down, this and that. So that comes in handy. A lot of burners, sleeping bags, mm -hmm. just essentially camping gear. Today we picked up a, a, a what was it, like a propane stove. Right. It didn't have the tank, but it had the pro like the stove part and all the all the and tubes it, and, and the stuff. And the thing was brand new. Yeah, and we got it for $10. Yeah, easily that really would sell nice. for $80 because I, I priced that online, yeah. though. So that's an $80, $80 that, flip right there. And we sold other butane little stoves and stuff like that as oh, well, yeah, tents. Yeah. I mean, just like bigger stuff like I mean, that. A lot of people are still going to want to exercise a lot of people have to maybe can cancel out their gym membership, though. And just like the pandemic, everybody wants to exercise at home, though. Yeah. We've come across punching bags with the stands. Mm -hmm. we, we, we even found free ones that we in, ended up flipping for at least 150 bucks. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are going to be moving. or But if you see this stuff, punching bags, weight benches, any kind of dumbbells, any of that kind of stuff, though, a lot of people... Inversion tables. Yeah. Is yeah, inversion tables. Inversion yeah, tables. Inversion tables, though. A lot of people just give that stuff away. Yeah. We've, we've been blessed and just picking free stuff up and just yeah. re reselling it though. We even, you know, m massage tables as well. Mm -hmm. we, we pick some up for like $30, flip for 120 Yeah. So yeah. that's that's one thing to consider though. Yeah. As far as, yeah, for the local stuff. Yeah, for we, local we, stuff. Uh, we don't pick up things like Bowflexes and things like that. Like the no, big... No, that's... It's, it's more meat and potatoes type, you know, yeah. punching bags, weight benches. Probably if, if we found some nice interchangeable weights or, or the heavier, like, 20-pound metal weights, like, something like that we might pick up. Yeah. And so as far as what I would look for for local sales, now, as far as sports equipment on, on online sales, that is, um, DVDs, like, workout DVDs, but I would be really you know, do the research, go look on eBay, see what's actually selling, what are people looking for, you know, resistance bands, like that kind of thing. Uh, maybe workout clothes. I know people, if they're in good condition, might want to buy it because it can get expensive to buy workout clothes. And especially September school starting. Mm -hmm. And oh, uh, yeah. a lot of things, uh, uh, we see them, uh, baseball bits, mitts, uh, bats, baseball bats, soccer equipment. You know, I, I saw some, some knee pads for volleyball that I should have picked up though. You know, brand new... Nike and I yeah. should have scooped that up though, but I didn't. I didn't think twice. So we're the heat was beaten down though, so yeah. I was kind of just passed that up though. But a lot of sports equipment though for your kids, try to scoop that up, or maybe someone else's kids need that though. So it's a lot of times you know it's much better, much better to pick that up there than pay out of pocket though. And y'all, I do see that the light is weird because the sun's coming through. So I'm, if I get washed out and I look like a ghost, my apologies. The sun is like hitting the, the light weird I see it. Um, through the window. But that being said, too, I when we were at a garage sale today, I never thought about this. There was a lady, two ladies talking over, and of course I'm overhearing them. And she was saying, you know, she had all of the shirts for the their local school, you know, whatever it was, the Mustangs or whatever they were. And she said, oh, yeah, I got the, I, buy, I went and bought them locally because you buy them through the school, you know, and you're paying much higher prices and so she was able to buy some stuff locally <laughs> this is driving me nuts <laughs> there she was able to buy some stuff locally to um to to outfit her kid with all the the gear for school with their logo and mascots and stuff like that yeah. for a lot cheaper so it's something to think about too the fourth area that and this is one of the areas that we're having to kind of stretch ourselves with is selling clothing and shoes because people are always going to want 
to look nice, we get clothes, shoes, all that, and, and paying full price maybe is not on the agenda for them during a recession. So again, this is an area that I'm having to learn a little bit more about as far as what sells as with clothes and shoes. So I'm learning in this area too. Yeah, and I think we've taken my daughter Ava, my 14-year-old daughter, Saturday's garage sales, and she's been kind of educating Margaret and I on what's trending, what's cool. And I know we've sold boots as far no, I mean, all the tim timber, Timberlands, is that what they Red are? Red Wings. Red Wings, the Red Wings, but then we, you've also sold some like Aria, like work boots. Yeah. So that like you, the steel toe, you know, so that's something else, you know, you know, guys are going to have to go get these steel toe boots for work and they're going to be looking to get them a little bit cheaper yeah. if they can find them used, then oh, that yeah. would be great. So oh, yeah. that's our input. So we would love to hear from you guys, what kind of clothes, shoes that you would be looking for during the pandemic. Um, I did a little research, you know, um, on, uh, Terra Peak. I just started kind of playing with Terra Peak. That's one of the search engine things for eBay. And, uh, you know, just barely scratching the surface to see what I should be looking for as far as clothes and shoes. So there's that as well. Also, uh, sorry, Margaret, uh, vintage music shirts. L look for that. We found a couple of Guns N' Roses jerseys, you know, that, that yeah. I know they're going to sell. I oh, mean, yeah. they're out touring right now. Yeah. Uh, also, during the 90s, you know, uh, a lot of these caricature NBA mm. t-shirts that are that are really hot right now that are selling though right. and, and the, the garage sales uh, are selling these and it's just like vintage you know starter right. starter jackets starter hats it just it's just a huge you know stuff that just just people are just selling right now and yeah. it's like you we would know we would pass it up but it's like hot right now and some of these shirts are selling 140 200 dollars and it's just like crazy it's like yeah you know, I would have known, I mean, I would have hung on to this stuff, though. Sure. So number five kind of rolls into that, and that's baby and kids stuff. So uh, online, I'd probably be looking, as far as baby stuff goes, like loveys and, to like, newish toys, you know, or, or like new toys or new. Um, and then clothes. Again, with the baby clothes, I'm not really well-versed in that. So it's another area that I've got to look into, whether it's better to, you know, get a lot of 3T, you know, make a lot of, like, 3T clothes for boys or depending on what where you find them. Because, I mean, we see it out a lot when we're at garage sales, but we just kind of, like, glance over it and move on. We see lots of baby clothes. Do a drive-by. Just drive on by. But there could be money that we're leaving behind if we just think about it differently. Somebody might be looking just to buy a lot. I've got a kid that's, three, you know, 3T. I need to, you know, I can't spend the fortune to get them in clothes, but I want them to have a nice wardrobe. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but then locally, as far as kids and baby stuff, we've definitely sold... Strollers. Strollers. Yeah. Wow. They sell. They sell. Mm -hmm. Jeep strollers, the, the, the three-wheel strollers, those yeah. sell $75. I, I, I've... The jogging New, ones, yeah, yeah, the jogging strollers, mm -hmm. though. People still want to get out and work, you know, yeah. do a run and have the baby there with you. That double, like the double strollers, um, you know, for multiples, because some you might have a one year old and a two year old or, you know, whatever. Right. Doubles. Pack and plays, I would, you know, be looking for pack and plays if they look new and like clean, um, something like that. And then we have sold kids' tables. You know, we've sold a few of those, whether they're from Ikea or just those little wooden, you know, play oh, tables. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we sold a Melissa and Doug one. So that's another um, oh, yeah. area. And, th and those I, I picked up pretty cheap and, and flipped for, I don't know, 80 bucks. One of them was 100 So little uh, kitchen. Remember that little oh, Ikea? Oh, the kitchen, the, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we've come across those. Mm -hmm. And those sell within a day. Yeah, like hotcakes. Yeah, wow. It's, yeah. Wow, it's just like... It's yeah. like I get giddy when I see one. I'm just like, oh, my God, this is going. Though. So another area that we are we are selling really well in right now and hopefully will continue during this recession is furniture and house household like appliance. Not necessarily appliances, but like lamps. So online, I won't sell such big stuff, um, but I might look into selling lamps. I've sold some Ikea lamps and uh, I've sold some lamps locally that were more breakable style like um stained glass type mm -hmm. lamps. Um, so really, if you haven't gotten into local sales, it's something you might think about getting into because there are lots of other things that you can sell locally as far as furniture goes. So some of the things that we've sold locally, uh, we've done patio furniture if it's in nice shape. 
You want to jump in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of the patio furniture, a lot of it chip paint, this and that, but that's nothing that a, a can of spray paint will fix though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've removed the glass, kind of just cleaned it up a little bit, spray painted, and the thing is almost new and it sells. It sells. Yeah. And you know, I, I, I priced patio furniture locally and that stuff is over like a a thousand dollars though yeah yeah it it ain't cheap though and i mean Mm -hmm. the good quality stuff though yeah it's not the stuff you get like from target or something somewhere still it's expensive it is it is because we we priced a sectional that we wanted in our backyard Mm -hmm. yeah and that was over two grand though yeah but she found one for free though so it's kind of like all right and the cushions like the it's in if you haven't priced outdoor patio cushions it's crazy. They're so, so expensive. So we ended up finding the ones for our patio furniture out there. We found for, what was it? Like $40 for $40 all of them. Though. And then we found some others, um, just blue and white striped outdoor furniture um, cushions. Uh, and those sold locally Quick. as well. Yeah. yeah. And they were from Walmart, the ones that we got. Because we ended up having to go buy one more cushion because we needed just one That's more. That's right. Yeah. And, yeah. and they were Walmart brands and they were still really expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Then also a lot of the furniture that did on the topic though end tables entryway tables i you know what margaret sometimes you surprise me you pick this stuff up though and it's like i'm just doubting you mm-hmm. but it's like the stuff is sold in the past couple of days yeah though. yeah i mean just a simple end table though and then even we found a mid-century modern with casters with that uh, coffee table mm-hmm. and the guy came almost 80 miles to come and pick it up though so yeah. i was like okay the stuff sells. Yeah. The stuff sells, though. But I, I was, I get leery on some things that Margaret picks out, but it's like she ceases to amaze me. They just always ends up selling, though. It just anything sells, though. So try not to pass anything up on furniture, uh, couches as well. You know, it, uh, we, I made a little project for, uh, for Margaret's kid. You know, we found a West Elm couch, and the thing retailed for 2400 mm-hmm. And, you know, we had your kid just defuzz it. The thing eventually sold for five hundred bucks. Yeah, uh, kitchen oh. tables, you know. We sell kitchen yeah, tables. Yeah, yeah. We sell k- kitchen tables. If you have to clean them up a little bit, though, hey, we just with some elbow grease, we clean them up and just flip them. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There were even four, just four chairs. It was like four black chairs that we sold for eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. A lady, yeah. we'd gone to pick up a Murphy bed from a lady, and she was like, "I got these chairs over here. You want them too?" I was like, "Throw them in the in the van." And there I was, like, he was like, "What are you doing? Damn it." <laughs> <laughs> and they sold. They sold. They sold. So the next area, during the recession, people are going to be looking into maybe fixing what they've already got or DIY projects rather than going to buy new. So as far as online sales, I've already started parting things out. Like we, we got a Cuisinart. Uh, a lady gave us this Cuisinart uh, food processor, and I've been parting it out. I've sold two or three of the pieces from it already. And uh, so that, you know, bike parts, um, sewing, you know, things for, I, I just got a, a thing of sewing feet in our storage locker that I'll be selling, mm-hmm. canning supplies, anything that is like DIY or do it yourself. That's what DIY means, dill. Um, and fixing it at home. So how about as far as locally? Locally, tools, uh, saws, drills, anything like that, that, that it's, it's always... It's almost recession proof though, because people are always going to work. Buildings are going to be made. Things are just keep keep, going, keep moving forward though. Uh, like I said, I I went through this in two thousand eight, and construction kept going and kept going and kept going. But I mean, I, I when I see tools, it's like they'll sell quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, what you call it? any kind of things for the garage though? Uh, saws, drills, sawzalls. Anything reciprocating saws. Try to get your hands on anything like that because it, it it will sell. That those are tools that to make some man or woman money. And toolboxes. We've sold to, some toolboxes. Toolboxes. Lately. We sold out. Yeah, and tool belts. Yards. Yard stuff. Yard stuff as yeah. well. Yeah. Lawn mowers. Anything. Anything like that though. Yeah. It, it makes somebody money. It makes somebody money. Yeah. So these are tools that, you know, with without these things, you can't build a house. You can't work on. You can't. You can't cut right. somebody's lawn. It's, it's these things that just, just make money for somebody, though. Yeah, know? definitely. But, mm. And I know, too, we've sold a number of those. Um, they're like those fertilizer. Scott Star Builders. Yeah. yeah the, the weed and feed type things. Those, those are that, pricey, too. Yeah, they, they yeah. are expensive, though. And mm-hmm. they always sell. So the next area is things to do with entertainment, where people are going to be wondering, wanting to entertain themselves at home. Uh, so, like, online, I'll be looking at more video games. We bought a bunch today and 
earlier this week I got some more video games, video game consoles, handheld games, board games, books, and like different types of music, and then also inflatables, because those can be pretty pricey too for like pools if you're going to go out. Um, so blow ups for the pools. Yeah. That's the yeah. kind of stuff I'm, it's on my radar. Also locally, I've come, been coming across a lot of TVs. Mm-hmm. That that sells. And sometimes people just don't want to spend that much money though. Uh, I, I've come across a couple of 42 to 47 inch TVs that I've been no problem selling them for 80 bucks. Yeah. That, that sells. All, some of them are smart TVs and some of them aren't smart TVs. We got one, we, we put it in the backyard. We got that for free. It's beautiful mm-hmm. smart TV. So that that's kind of a blessing though. Don't pass that up though. And a lot of times if you do going to buy one at a garage sale, Take this with a grain of salt. Always try it out there. Always ask, there's a remote. Can I plug it in? Don't decide, hey, just because someone's selling it, you just load it up and it's good to go. No, a lot of times yeah. ask, hey, can I plug this in? You know, because th- that TV could be $25 and you're thinking, okay, what's wrong with it? And nothing. Don't take their word for it, though. Just This is a dummy telling you this, though. Plug it in. Pl- and this one. But plug it in. Plug it in, <laughs> I, though. I took your bug. Because he was gone, he had taken the van, and so somebody gave was giving away a sixty-five inch a sixty-five inch TV and a lawnmower. I'm like, I'm there, and I have the bug, and I'm thinking, what am I doing? So I go over there, they have it out in the driveway. I get this ginormous TV loaded up, and I dismantle the lawnmower because I'm like, this thing's coming. I don't know how, but it's coming. And so I got that wedged into the passenger seat. Get home, get it unloaded. <laughs> TV doesn't work. TV doesn't work. <laughs> Gas. She shit shoved the damn lawnmower in my beetle. Gas is leaking out. I get in my beetle and I'm like, why does this thing smell like Exxon? <laughs> what the hell? And then the lawnmower didn't even work. But it's like, no, it worked. It didn't. It pu- well, it didn't turn over, but it pulled. It, it wasn't. Pulled. It okay. wasn't seized up. It. But it sold. It sold. It's sold, yeah. But and I proved to you that I can do it. But I'm driving my Beetle and almost <laughs> blacking out from the smell of unleaded. Or was it premium? Probably unleaded. <laughs> but I did it. Yeah. Well, either way. <laughs> I got it in there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Back on track. Though. Sport equipment like paddleboard. That's a big thing in Austin. I don't know. It's a big, I guess it's a big, big, big trend right now. They're yeah. doing paddleboard, stand-up paddle. Yeah. Look, look for stuff like that. Kayaks. Kayaks. That, mm-hmm. that, that stuff will sell. That stuff that, I mean, you cannot hang on to that stuff, though. Because some be... people, they're moving. They're like, well, we can't take everything. We yeah, can't take, and, just... it, and it won't fit, though. Okay. And a lot of times we do get, uh, we see ads that are they're having a garage sale. Can't take this stuff with us. Mm-hmm. We need to go now. We need to go now. Come make yeah. offer, this and that. And it's like, that's where we're, Margaret and I are good at just jumping in the minivan, getting over there, and just get, making a deal with them, though, with cash yeah. in hand. Here you go. Uh because just last weekend, there was a lady right around the corner, and she was moving, and she was like, I, I just can't. Friday, the van is coming, and it can't come. Mm-hmm. And so I gave her 90 bucks and just brought home three three van loads of furniture from her from her place. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was just one of the gone. Yeah. And yeah. then even the mini fridge just paid for the whole thing. Yeah, we sold yeah, the so mini fridge kind of, from it. Yeah. yeah. That too, yeah. Mini fridges, that that that's a hot item too. Yeah. yeah. So another thing that it, that we're going to be looking a lot more for is what kinds of things people will need if something big goes out in their house and they can't go afford they can't afford to go replace it new. So things like if your AC goes out, you know, you're going to need a small portable AC unit. Yeah. Uh, fans. If it's cold, you know, you're going to need those mini heaters, things like things of that nature. Yeah. Because you know? we've, we've come across window units. Mm-hmm. A lot of people remodeling their house. And here in Austin, I think the trend is everybody's doing mini splits now. So um, they're gut, they're taking the window units at the window and just selling them or giving them away. But... So our big, big, big one, as far as our recession-proof items, are kitchen items. And online, you know, this is another area that I'm having to stretch and learn in. That's pots and pans. Mm-hmm. Pots and I need, I need, I personally need brands for pots, pans, things like that that I should be looking for to cook because you don't cook. And close, yes, I do. Right. That's how I hooked him. I hooked him with the cooking, and then I quit. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Knives. I have started, like I said, par- parting out small uh, appliances, but also looking for appliances like the Ninjas, the Cuisinarts, food processors, toaster ovens. I mean, those could mm-hmm. go locally or online. Um, 
immersion blenders, canning supplies, things of that nature online. But a lot of our really big sales um, have been saving our bacon, uh, have been local sales of appliances. Appliances, though. Yeah, that is my bread and butter right there, though. I, I've, I've been blessed, and this is how what Margaret got me into this, though. And I started with, with, with one appliance, and it was a washer, and I sold it, ended up, Somebody was giving it away, and I brought it home, cleaned it up, ended up selling, selling for three hundred dollars. And I it this it, is before you quit your job. Yeah, and mm-hmm. the bug bit me, and this is just something wow. That that was kind of like the wow factor. Like this is I can do this, and I'm looking at you like I just saw a ghost. I was like that easy. And for me, I would have to work maybe two days, three days just to pull that off, though. But now it's like just been blessed. You've heard me talk before. A lot of times I, I come across a dryer that somebody would be giving away for free needs heating element. Guys, I'm not a mechanic. I'm as dumb as I look. But I these YouTube videos just saved my ass. So it's just, just a simple heating element. And right now I price these dryers, like the Samsung front-loading dryer. It's almost $700 with tax. And I can sell it for... Three hundred dollars, and it's just a twenty-five dollar part off of yeah. Amazon. Overnighted, it's there. Just a simple screwdriver, and just the patience, and just and I, I it, you can be a guy, girl, whatever. Anybody can sw- swap yeah. this out. A lot of times, uh, people will get rid of an appliance, the a f- refrigerator. Somebody may need it for their man cave, a second garage, one in the garage yeah. for for store meat. They may be filthy, swallow your pride. I clean them almost every other day, though. That's all I do. And this is my bread and butter. This is... Yeah. This is... Don't I, clean I, it. You don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I just think about the money. When I see a free appliances, I I, I, yeah. I hot tell over there and go pick them up, though. You know, you can even part it out, you know, sell it for parts. People are just looking for stuff like that. Just, I mean, again, you know, somebody, they maybe don't want to go buy, buy new. They're like, well, I just need... I just need the belt. I just need this part. Just I can fix belt, it. Though. You know. And and I've come across appliances where the control panel or something, okay, well, it needs a new one. And then I look up the part on Samsung.com or like an aftermarket type mm-hmm. of appliance, and these things are two hundred forty dollars though. Yeah. Easy. And you're gonna you're you're gonna end up having to having to buy it though. But you know if if you come across something in the appliance so it's not working completely dead in the water there's 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 parts all over that you can just list and sell and there's somebody always looking for these parts yeah always it's kind of opened my eyes because i didn't really sell a lot locally before i you know one and i got together and maybe if i was still solo i might not be able to do refrigerators washing machines are a bit heavy for me too but i can move a dryer you know i can move it yeah, yeah i can move a stove they're not that bad you yeah. know so, and that that's something I can clean. I yeah. can... Stoves as well. A lot of times, it's just something simple. Yeah. And the, some people just they don't... They gave us this... What was it? The It was the ga- it was a gas stove. It was a gas range. And it was like, well, one of the burners is not working, so we just got a whole new stove. The thing so. was beautiful. Yeah. And so he looked it up. Looked it up. And it was just a small weep hole. And all I had to do was get a guitar string and just pop the hole in it. And then I let the, 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 I guess where it emits the, the gas. Yeah. And let them sit overnight in the detergent. And I followed the YouTube videos. Basically, sure enough, yeah. Though, sold that thing for 350 bucks. It was just like grease residue that had clogged it up. That yeah. was it. And they were it. like, well, it's not working. Get a whole new one. You yeah, know, but you find nice. that all the time. Yeah. You know, okay. And we told them, we're like, hey, you mind? We're going to we're gonna flip it because this was somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this kind of rolls right into, you know, if you're not plugged into any free groups, whether you're on, on um, Facebook or, you know, looking on Craigslist, you know, ch- get signed in. Um, this particular group, the reason I told this family that we were reselling it is the, the freebie site, the freebie group, rather, that's in our neighborhood – one of the rules is if you're planning on reselling the item, you need you have to tell the person. Um, and I don't want to get kicked out of that group. So I just, I said, hey, you know, this is something that we're planning on reselling. Are you still comfortable giving it to us? And they said, oh, yeah, we just want it gone. Uh, so they knew that we were going to sell it, fix it up. And uh, so if you haven't, 
you know, look there uh, in your area for on Craigslist there. When you go look under sa- for sale, if you scroll through there, there's something that says it says um, free stuff. Mm-hmm. Click on that. We check that th- throughout the day. I'm in a number of free free groups on uh, on Facebook. What else do we look at? I mean, we just all over that. You can look on next door if you're on next door yeah. community. Like yeah. Favorite. Free cycle, that's another one. If you guys know any other free freebie sites or free um, free yeah. pages that did... and uh, Craigslist, babe, is where it's wanted on on Craigslist. Oh yeah, this is a good one. It's just you, you see wanted, and a lot of times people are looking for things, and they mm-hmm. may be looking for things that you got, you know, and that's a yeah. good way to you know sell some of what you got, and they're they're looking for it though. You got a customer waiting right there though. We should be doing that. The night before we go out garage selling, we need to go look at the things people want so that we've got a mental list in our head. So when we're out, because I remember one time it was somebody was looking for like a 10, no, a 20 gallon aquarium or something like that. It's like we need to be looking before we go out. So we've got like, oh, hey, I saw on the wanted people, you know, so Mm -hmm. when we're looking at garage sales, if we see it like, hey, pick that up. We saw that on the XYZ. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. That was my idea. <laughs> that was your good idea, Juan. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, you guys, again, I mean, hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Uh, these are different areas as far as hopefully recession-proof items to keep your reselling business going and profitable during this time. If you are selling something else or know of any other things that people should be picking up. Yeah, or- leave a comment below, guys, because mm-hmm. we, we, you know, we are feeding off each other, though. Right. So please... If you know something that hey it's hot, it's something that always sell, something that's recession proof that need that, that will always be selling though, please chime in though. And and uh, guys, leave a comment and we're gonna be giving away a giveaway. So if you can, uh, we'll pick somebody tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow by three o'clock though. So if you watch, leave a comment. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Yeah.